Bruce, could you please walk us through your start in real estate and tell us a bit about your background and your journey? Sure. I, I don't know how far back you want to go, but I'll, in real estate, I got started in tax lien foreclosures in 2001 with uh, a guy by the name of Gary. And we had really been pursuing the tax lien foreclosures in Arizona markets. And what, what I noticed with his process is he left a lot of meat on the bone or left a lot of opportunities on the wayside. So I asked him if I could pursue those on my own, you know, the ones that he doesn't want, could I, or, or they redeem their taxes, would, it, would he be okay if I pursued them? And purchased the pro or pursued the properties, the individual houses, single family, and he said that'd be that'd be fine. So uh, shortly thereafter, um, I picked up a triplex, a duplex, and three single family homes, all using uh, investor money. And we had some rentals, fixed them up, and that's how I got started in the real estate business. And then when I got, um, I wanted to go full time because I was part time with doing the real estate, full time doing tax lien foreclosures. So. My business partners at that time weren't interested in full-time and I met Jack, Jack Martin, and he was uh, doing the work for us and we decided to form a partnership, Bakerson. And the reason Bakerson is both of our fathers were bakers together. They worked for my grandfather in oh. Minneapolis in, in the 60s. My grandfather owned, uh, started Woolet Bakeries in the 40s and my, uh, my dad and his dad worked together. And one day I was, I was driving on the freeway and I said, I called him up and I said, Jack, I got a name for our company. He said, what's that? I said, Bakerson. He said, that ticks me off. I said, why? He says, I wish I would have thought of it first. <laughs> so then uh, I tell people that I'm an SOB. I'm a son of a baker and usually get some good chuckles. And so then uh, th that's where we started as Bakerson and why the Bakerson name. Uh, my dad's now been gone for 14 years and and but yet we still uh, honor him with the name and he was really touched when I did name, him, name it Bakerson. And I'll never forget the day that I told him that. And he was stricken with cancer at the time, but still had an awesome attitude. Um, and I, you know, I hope to have a, a little bit of his positive mindset because he was an amazing individual while he was here. Uh, so then transition into what, you know, we were buy, fix and sell properties. And I found more properties that we could possibly fix and sell. So I got into wholesaling. And the wholesaling is where we really launched and we did over 2000 homes over time. And that was where it was really amazing to see the transactions and, the, and the, the transformation we could do in the communities that we that we impacted. And we didn't do wholesaling as most people do. We did what we call wholesaling, where we brought it from, we brought them, cleaned them up, and we sold over 50% of our homes in the last few years to homeowners. And the beauty behind that is the homeowners were getting into properties for way below market. They would do the repairs themselves. We would we'd arrange the financing and we found out that the impact we had on that on the area was just tremendous. In fact, a couple of years ago, I researched a couple hundred transactions just out of curiosity, and 80% of that of that pool that I, I drew still owned their own house many years later. And it's paid off. And I said, you know what? That's what we're about. Well, then that market dried up as the as the economy was was taken off in our model. And so we got into whole our flipping apartment buildings. Well, we seen, we did 25, 20, 20 or 25 uh, apartment buildings where we just flipped the contract and we said, man, we could do that. So we started picking up multifamily and repositioning it and form syndications and partnerships and JVs and other you know, business ventures. And we got into uh, apartment buildings in Phoenix and Tucson. And it's really, that's where the journey got to where we are today. And now we're looking more at legacy and the timing to meet with you is perfect because we've always been in and out and in two to three years and now we're looking for long-term and this will help us achieve our long-term goals by partnering with you and working on creating um, assets uh, you know for short term for three to four years but also how can how can we as a company separately create legacy assets for that we can pass on to other generations